Oh, did I tell you it was crazy hot down here? Oh, it's, it's just stupid hot in this room now. I don't, I don't know why this table is not straight. Which way am I going here? Maybe this way, maybe? Oh, I don't know. I don't know what's happening here. Anyways, today we're doing, uh, we're doing a case, cases, cases review. Uh, and we're doing it for the iPad Air. Um, but you can get this case for the iPad series. You can get these cases for, uh, what else do you have? Uh, they make cases for the iPad, Samsung ta tablets, MacBooks, Surfaces. They make bags, they make all kinds of stuff. And this is a company called Procase. Um, you can get them on Amazon, and I will put links to the actual uh, Procase store on Amazon.com. But they sent us uh, two cases. This one, this one, this one hither. You guys, is that straight? Straightish. This one hither, and um, this one. Uh, this is like a, just a plain Jane case. Does your protection right? This one here, as you can see, has has a has a keyboard that you can use if you'd like. So uh, I've played with this one actually a little bit already. I haven't opened this one at all. So uh, it's like fourteen dollars. $14 for this one. So we're gonna take a look at this one first. We're gonna look at their uh, specs, what they say about them, and we're gonna put them on the iPad and see what we think. Okay, coming up. Okay, so let's put this one over here for now. This is this is it here, the Pro Case. And again, they have them for all the different iPads that are out there and Surface tablets and Amazon, not Amazon, uh, Android stuff. $13.99 US, right? That's awesome. Uh, normally $23, even that's not, not bad, but this is way better. Uh, you can get it in different colors, right? Navy, red. Actually, that red's not bad color. It's like a deep red, which I like. Oh, and that's not, that's that's nice too, teal. Um, so, protective, yep. Built-in pencil holder, excellent, because I got a pencil for me. Uh, lightweight, but shockproof, cool. Different viewing angles. Nice and supports auto sleep wake functions because it has the magnet which secures the case closed, easy snap on. Awesome. What do you get for $14? Well, this is what you get right here. This is it. Uh, you know what? Just the fact that it came in a bag, that's okay. Actually, that material, that's actually really nice. Actually, it's got a little, little pro case there on the corner. It's, it's, I can't even tell you what kind of material this is, to be honest with you, but it's super smooth when you guys get it. You'll be like, what is that? Oh, I like that, actually. Um, back, there's going to be your cutout for your cameras. You have not cutouts for the volume buttons. They're physical buttons that you push, so before I even get a tablet in there. Okay, just like, just like a rubber. A little cutout over here. Nothing on this side. Uh, and you got like your speaker grill, speaker grill right here, as well as uh, like your buttons for the, I guess, is that one for the top? Possibly. Well, we'll put it on and find out. Um, there we go. Kindly note, please complete the Touch ID settings prior to assembling the case. And maybe what they're saying is it's just, it's just hard to get, because the Touch ID is up here, right? This is where it is. So it's hard to get your finger maybe close enough if you haven't done that already. I guess, possibly, I don't know, I don't know 100%, but this, this goes in just like so. Shall we just get that in the corners here? Is it snug? Yeah, it's, it should be. It's rubber, so that's all right. Bends nice, which means you should be able to get it in and out nice and easy. My iPad is all smudgy. It's an iPad, you touch it. What am I going to tell you? Um, oh yeah, that's nice. I'm okay with that. That's a nice case. I, uh, I'll probably use this most of the time now. So just so you guys can see it, right? It's like your traditional, it kind of folds up like this and then you can either get it in this orientation, you guys can see it, right? So you get a little bit more of a vertical or you can get it down one extra. So if you get a little bit more of a, see, I would use that possibly for, if I was like laptopy mode where I'm just kind of watching stuff on a table, I'd probably use it in the lower one and then Oh, they're both good, actually. They're both good. And then it does have, so you guys can see it here, right? It does have a pencil spot. So you got that little pencil goes in there. Sweet. And that's what that little hole is there for. So you can pop it out to get it in. Plus, it has a little stand for those of us that want to be able to put it down. 
and not, you know, have it roll off the table or whatever. What more do you need? 13 bucks. Yeah. 3,000 reviews, 13 bucks, 14 bucks, 14 bucks right now. So this is, this is a go get it. This is a go get this, 100%. You're not going to get, you're not going to get a better case, I don't think, for, for $14 or even $22. It'd be hard to find one. You go to Apple Store and spend $40 or $50 and not get a case as good as this. Yeah, that's all right. Yeah, I'm pleased. And that's, that's I'm guessing that's where the, that's where the magnet kind of sits in there. You kind of see these little tabs right there. I don't know if those are mag magnetic. Can't tell. The magnet might be in here, but it, yeah, yeah, that's good. I like that. And if you're a person that likes to swap cases, because it's this nice kind of rubber, you just kind of pop here and it comes out pretty easy. Plus you can see the, the, the hexagons, the, honeycomb type look, which is gonna give you some impact, right? Plus decent impact in the corners. You guys can see that when they come up here, right? See how that kind of squishes, right? You guys maybe see that, where am I? It's not as bright as, there it is, right? It's got a nice squish in the corners because that's usually where you take the brunt of your, of, of issues with, with an iPad, right? Or, or a smartphone or anything like that. They hit the corners and they, ksh. Yep, I know all about it. All right, then we have, move the iPad over here. Then we have this one. Now, again, I've played with this one already, um, but this one is, uh, this one is this one. Now, uh, it looks leathery, but at $32, I, I'm not going to say it is. Uh, 800, over 800 ratings, same things, four and a half stars. Comes in, uh, yeah, different colors. I do like that like, greeny teal color. That's, that's slick. I got mine in all black. That's, that's nice though. Uh, what do they have here? Compatible with, again, it, it, it can't have anything to hold old and make sure that you get a case that's compatible with your uh, iPad or else it's not gonna fit. All in one design, yeah, adjustable viewing angles, kind of same thing, full protection, auto sleep wake. Yep, I'm with you. Um, so cutout wise, it's the same. It still has that same kind of honeycomby, right, look down here for protection, same rubber, which is nice. So the case part, very similar to the other one, right? So if you don't need the keyboard, I'd save your money and, and get the 20, 20, the $14 one, right? Uh, this one talks about the little instruction manual on how to actually pair the keyboard. I've done all that already. Uh, a little thank you card and a little uh, register your warranty within 14 days, right here. Cool, very nice. Uh, you get a USB, so this is a micro USB to USB-A. That's gonna be for charging this keyboard because it has its own internal battery. And as you guys can see, hopefully you guys can see this, right? This keyboard is, well, the back here is magnetic, so this sticks to it, which is sweet. And yeah, if we take the keyboard off, this looks very similar except for the leathery look to it, to the other one, right? So here's my question. Here's my question. What if I didn't, before I even get into the keyboard, let's say I had this one and I'm like, does this, does this? Oh yeah, so now I have a keyboard case over here. It's too bad, I wonder if they sell this keyboard just by itself, so if you had this and you're like, I want a keyboard. Now, this one's a little, I think, different. Oh, maybe not, you fold it, fold it out. Yeah, the only difference really is, uh, on this one is this piece, right? And that's gonna be the flap over, just to make sure nothing falls out. But it sticks. All right, that's cool, that's all right, I like that. Um, keyboard, take it out. So, like I said, you know what? You, you spend 14 bucks on the other one, you spend $33 on this. So you, you're pretty much at the same price point as buying like an Apple one, really, um, without a keyboard. And you can kind of choose kind of which case you kind of want. Now this, well, we'll get to this in a minute. This, just kind of be aware. Like if you're like, oh, I want a really high-end keyboard. Well, you're not getting a high-end keyboard here. This, it's, it's a keyboard. That's all I'm gonna, like. It works, right? It's a keyboard, it, it clicks, it does all the stuff. It's really thin, you know? Like, like that's, that's tiny thin. So, that, that's really good. It is have a battery in it, so it's good for, for, for charging and all that kind of stuff, you know? And if you have a, uh, I don't know, like a, even a Windows computer or whatever, or a Mac computer, you should be able to connect this via Bluetooth, because it even says on here, like Windows, right? So it's not like Mac. And it doesn't have a trackpad or anything like that on it. Um, if you want that on a, you know, like a iPad keyboard, 
then be prepared to spend like a thousand times the price of this because those, those are expensive. Um, anyways, so we get this, right? We take our, we take our, make sure we line up our camera nice. Just kind of get that in the corner. That snugs in good. You gotta love that. It just, it snugs in really easy. I do like that a lot. And what I like too is I have a, I have a cover on here and it doesn't seem to mess around with the cover. At least it hasn't yet. So that's good. Watch when you have covers though, because sometimes lips like this kind of hit this and then they peel the covers back. Has a little pencil slot just like the other one did. So you guys see that right there, right? It does have a, like it's a directional, so you know which side the pencil goes in. And the flat side, of course, should always go like toward the iPad because that's kind of how it charges. So that's excellent. And it folds over, so you got some nice protection in there. I do like that. That's, that's okay, you guys are seeing that, okay? Where am I, right there? Yeah, that's nice. I'm down with that. And then the little, you're good to go. Now this can fold like so. I believe it can fold backwards as well, maybe. Eh, maybe. But same idea. You got, you know, different spots for it to kind of latch into if you want, right? Just kind of get it like however. Just find those little spots that you like it for, for angles. This one has three. Yeah, three. Something's dropping down the floor. Anyways, so a little, little bit extra, which is nice. And then last but not least, I don't even know if this has power. We're gonna find out in a second, I guess. My guess is it does not. So uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna just plug this in. Hold on one second. I still to this day don't know why Apple hasn't been like, hey, let's release USB-C for everything. Not just our iPads, because it's just, it's just like, so much better being able to ha everybody has like a thousand USB-C cables already so why don't we just accept that USB-C is the standard it's better than lightning on our iPhones and just go that route I don't it doesn't make any sense no sense to me anyways okay we got that there cool I'll just log in okay and we have our keyboard so we can take this now we'll stand it up get it in keyboard position you guys can possibly see this and then we have this which just magnetically attaches now we got like our own little laptop going on awesome and all we do is turn this on and you'll see a little power button and as far as I know because I've done this already uh, it should connect via Bluetooth but if you hadn't you actually see a connect button right there and you want to hit that so, but we'll go into Bluetooth just to verify this. I th again, I think it should see it automatically. Uh, and you'll see, yeah, Bluetooth, maybe you can see this right here. Bluetooth 3.0 keyboard, it says connected. So we're good. So now if we are in whatever, let's pretend I'm in mail and I'm gonna compose a new message, right? Um, will this work? Yeah, right? Comes up just fine. So, hello. How are you doing today? Return, return. It's good. Like it's, it, it works fine. Like it, it's, it's fully, fully functional. That that's all I'm gonna really say about it. Is it's a very functional keyboard. Uh, again, is it gonna be the best keyboard you've ever used? Like right? it's, it's got decent clicks to it, right? The response time via Bluetooth is really good. I don't know uh, what kind of life it's gonna get via via battery, but it does charge really fast. And it is a keyboard, so I would say if you're a heavy user, like even a really heavy user of a keyboard, you should still probably be able to get a couple days out of it. Uh, and always remember too, if for whatever reason you're using it and it, and it dies, you still do have your on-screen keyboard that you use while you charge it. So uh, that, that shouldn't be an issue at all. You just kind of recharge it. And like I said, um, I just charged this before this and it, it charged like, like really fast. So I'm uh, very, very happy with that. Um, so yeah, no, it, it's, it's, it's fine, and like I said, if you don't want the keyboard for whatever reason, you're someone who's, man, I got all these notifications coming up. Um, you can literally just be like, yeah, I don't, I don't wanna use the keyboard. Yeah, I get it, you, you're, you're somebody's home now, right? But you can take that off and you can use it on your Windows computer or you, you have, or you buy, you buy a different tablet down the road, right? You can still use this and when you're ready, you just pop that back on there. 
and this just folds up. Just make sure when you go to fold it that the keyboard moves up higher, right? And you can place this wherever you want because that's going to go like that, and that's going to go like that, and you're off. Or you could just leave the keyboard at home, whichever. Um, and that's like 30 something, 34 bucks, 35 bucks, something like that. Yeah, that's decent. And I like that case. And if you're at home and you like the other case, you could use that case with it. You just don't get the, you just, just don't get the foldy part, you know? All right, guys, uh, these are the, and you can see it here, I think, right? The pro case, pro case right there. Keyboard, if you want a keyboard, if you're a keyboard user, and you're like, oh, I kind of do a lot of typing for 35 bucks. I think it was 35 bucks. That's pretty decent. And if you just want some protection and a case on your iPad, $13.99, even better. Plus, both of them really use the same kind of housing, so you get this pencil slot and seems to be nice, nice protection. Yeah, very good, I like it. All right guys, links down below if you're interested to Procase, and uh, we'll leave you there. Like, comment, share, subscribe, hit that little notification bell, and we'll have more tech goodness coming out tomorrow. Later, my friends.